Не надо. Убрал руки. Что ты снимаешь? Что ты снимаешь? Себя сними. Чисти меня. Канело. So maybe you won in the ring, but in the life you lose, you lost. Dmitry Bivol is currently embroiled in legal problems due to serious allegations made by his ex-wife, Ekaterina Bivol. He attacked me and I wanted to hit him back, but I couldn't. Meanwhile, among all this chaos, Dmitry Bivol is all set for the light heavyweight clash against Artur Baterbiev on October 12th. This bout is expected to be one of the biggest of his career, as it will determine the undisputed champion in the division. When he was getting himself prepared for the biggest bout of his career, his personal life started taking whirls and got him in some serious court cases. And there is other voice. It's the voice of my father. He was in the apartment when this devil, Dima, tried to attack. Ekaterina Bivol and Dmitry Bivol began their married life after a long relationship, marking a union that lasted 16 years before they separated. In recent years, tensions arose, and she cited his growing focus on fame and fortune, especially after his victory over Canelo Alvarez, as a turning point in their relationship. Their separation became public not long after this win over Canelo. Canelo vs. Bivol was the returning point of Bivol's career. Teddy Atlas, a respected boxing analyst and trainer, talked about how Bivol took control due to Canelo's lack of a strong response in that fight. Atlas emphasized that when a fighter isn't threatened by what's coming back at him, it allows him to throw more punches without caution. When there's nothing coming back, there's nothing to deter the guy throwing the punches, in this case Bivol, from being careful about how many he throws. So he put more together knowing he could because there was nothing to deter him, to threaten him. Now that Bivol and Viterbiev both are preparing to hit each other in the ring, these accusations started getting harder, and they might keep Bivol in hot water as well. The fight may get canceled or delayed if the accusations get stronger, which could lead to Bivol stuck in court processions. Not only Bivol's ex-wife is giving him a hard time, but also the pressure of facing Viterbiev is haunting him daily. But Roy Jones Jr. has given good marks to Bivol depending upon his power and skills. Jones, reflecting on Bivol's strengths, emphasized that Bivol had never been knocked down and had outclassed Canelo, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters. He acknowledged Bivol's current advantage and pointed out that Baterbiev is 38 years old, a factor that could play a negative role for him. Baterbiev is 38 years old. Baterbiev has been down. Yes, yes, yes. Bivol has never been down. Bivol has been there with who at the time was pound pound the best, which was Canelo Alvarez. Made him look like nothing. So I'm not saying it's 50-50. Bit of beef got everything to show me to bring it back up to 50-50. Right now, beef all has the, has the, the advantage 60 40. Jones then discussed the risky nature of facing Biterbiev, noting that while Biterbiev is powerful, he has been knocked down before. Jones explained that when facing someone who's been knocked down, a fighter often feels compelled to try and do the same. However, he cautioned that this approach can be dangerous when going up against someone as skilled and strong as Better Bief. Biterbiev is a hell of a guy and a hell of a fighter, and he has an awesome power. But he also has been down. So it's like when I look at that, I always look at stuff from where I used to see things there for. And the way I saw it, if somebody else knocked you down, I gotta get you down. Especially given Better BF's legendary punching power, this fight might go anyway. Jones knew that Better BF might be the best puncher the light heavyweight division has ever seen, making the fight highly dangerous for anyone facing him. However, he also pointed out that Bivol still has the overall advantage in terms of skill and experience. He added, It's a very dangerous game that people all got to play because Better BF is the best puncher probably ever in that division. If it's 50 50, it's because of his punching power. Maybe he may land, maybe he may not. That's only 50-50, but for the overall fight, Bivol has the advantage. These remarks of Jones Jr. went to Bivol as well. He had been vocal about anything before this fight, and he also expressed his admiration for Roy Jones Jr.'s. Bivol shared that Jones, along with Sugar Ray Leonard, Mike Tyson, and Muhammad Ali, were some of his biggest inspirations growing up. Hearing such positive remarks from a fighter he idolized gave Bivol an extra boost of confidence heading into his future challenges. It means a lot to me, to be honest, because Roy Jones is my one of the favorite fighters, uh, uh, Sugar, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roy Jones, uh, Mike Tyson, Ali, they are for me like on, yeah. And in some period of my life, uh, they were just idols, you know, and that he's giving me this uh, uh, chances that I could win, it's, it's amazing for me, to be honest. I'm, mm. 
David Benavidez, a key player in the super middleweight division, shared his thoughts on light heavyweight stars Dmitry Bivol and Artur Beterbiev. Though he hasn't faced either fighter, Benavidez analyzed their styles in detail. He praised Bivol's speed and agility, noting how Bivol's quick movement around the ring makes him a tough opponent to hit. On the other hand, Benavidez emphasized better Bivol's raw power, considering him the more dangerous fighter in terms of knockout potential. Who do you think poses the harder fight for you between Bivol and and Baterbiev, who, who presents the, the more difficult fight? I think probably Baterbiev. Yeah. Because he's 14 and 0, 14 knockouts, 15 and 0, 15, 15 knockouts. knockouts. The thing I see about him is a little bit different. That might be, it might be an easier way to beat him is that he's really flat footed, but he has a lot of power. Yeah. The thing about Bivol, he's more of a complete fighter. Right. He can hit you from here, he can move here. You know, you can't hit him. He's moving, you know, yeah. using the whole ring. David Benavidez declared both as highly talented fighters. He highlighted the differences in their fighting styles, noting that while Bivol is more of a boxer who moves around the ring, he still has a solid presence. You know, they're both extremely talented fighters, very well. They're two different type of fighters though. Bivol is a boxer, he moves around a lot, but he's solid. David Benavidez expanded on the contrast between Dmitry Bivol and Artur Baterbiev, emphasizing Baterbiev's aggressive style. He compared Baterbiev to a train, noting how he takes shots to give them, continuously pressuring his opponents. Benavidez raised a key question for a potential fight between the two, whether Bivol has the power to hurt Baterbiev, referencing how Baterbiev has been hurt before. Uh, Berta Bivol is a, a train, just comes at you, takes shots, takes shots to give shots. So. What I'm looking at for this fight is Bivol has the power to hurt Berdabiev because Berdabiev has been hurt by uh, Bozin or Alexander. So, and then Bivol, in my, in Bivol I, you know, as far as both, Bivol cracks harder than, than Alexander. So, you know, this is it's gonna be very a really interesting fight. David Benavides continued his thoughts on the potential matchup between Dmitry Bivol and Artur Beterbiev, highlighting the intriguing nature of the fight. He emphasized that if Bivol can stay on his feet, use his jab effectively, and stand his ground during exchanges, he has a strong chance of winning. However, Benavides also acknowledged Beterbiev's relentless power and knockout record, stressing how dangerous Beterbiev becomes once he gets his momentum going. He then said, it's going to be a really interesting fight. I think if Bivol stays on his feet the whole night, uses a jab, and when they exchange, he stands his ground. He has a really good chance of winning. But also, Beterbiev, when he gets his engine going, that is a f train. He has, what, 19 fights, 19 knockouts, it's insane. So it's going to be a good fight. While Dmitry Bivol is undeniably an exceptional fighter, Joe Rogan praised Artur Beterbiev as the true standout, comparing him to a Picasso of the sport. Rogan highlighted Beterbiev's impressive record of 19-0, noting that he's the only fighter in the world with a 100% knockout ratio. He emphasized how rare it is to have a world champion with a 100% knockout ratio and described Beterbiev as terrifying due to his relentless power and dominance in the ring. This guy's a f animal. He's 18 and 0 with 18 knockouts. Jeez. He's the only world champion that's in boxing today that has a 100% knockout ratio for every fight he's ever been in. He's from Chechnya. This dude is terrifying. Joe Rogan continued his praise of Artur Beterbiev, highlighting just how dominant he was against Joe Smith Jr., a fighter known for his power in the light heavyweight division. Rogan marveled at how quickly Beterbiev dismantled Smith, ending the fight in just two rounds. His emphasis on Beterbiev's power and skill further reinforced his view of Beterbiev as a terrifying force in the sport. He added, Joe Smith Jr. is an animal. He's this big power-punching light heavyweight, and Beterbiev him up in two rounds. Better BF might cook Bivol in his coming bout, but seemingly Bivol has already been cooked by his ex-wife on the internet. Amidst the ongoing allegations and threats of dragging Bivol in court, Ekaterina recently shared a video on his Instagram recalling back of all the abuse that this guy has made her go through. One of the most alarming accusations is that Dmitri physically assaulted her in front of their children. In a series of videos posted on social media, Ekaterina detailed an incident where he allegedly slapped her in their apartment while their children cried and were present at the moment. He slapped me in the face and he smashed my present, his present that he gave me and our kids were crying so he did it in this apartment. 
in my apartment, in front of my kids. After a win over Canelo, reportedly fame took over Bivol, and amidst that, he lost his senses. Ekaterina accused Bivol of being an abusive and neglectful husband, stating that his behavior changed after his victory over Canelo Alvarez. According to Ekaterina, Dimitri became emotionally distant, increasingly aggressive, and uninterested in their family. It's just two people who won Bivol. It's Canelo and me. She described him as a devil, claiming that his fame and wealth led to his deterioration as both a father and husband. She even started a campaign against him on Instagram with the hashtag CancelBivol. He continued tagging Turki Alal Sheik, Eddie Hearn, PBC, and other boxing authorities to get her voice noticed. Alvarez, because when we divorce, when we go in the process of divorce, I told my ex that, you know what? You became such a devil. In her ongoing accusations, Ekaterina Bivol called Dmitry Bivol a weak person who failed to keep his promises. She expressed regret over her decision to marry him. She stated, Did not think that day I was marrying a weak person. Now I see and know he is a coward that doesn't keep his word, that he is weak. Through these remarks, Ekaterina continued her critical public portrayal of her ex-husband, adding to the escalating tension surrounding the boxer. Ekaterina also shared disturbing images online, accusing Dmitry and his mother of covering up the abuse. These claims have triggered a wave of public discourse, with fans either calling for Dimitri to be held accountable or standing in solidarity with him. It's just two people who won Bivo. It's Canelo and me. So please write to Saul Alvarez, because when we divorce, when we go in the process of divorce, I told my ex that, you know what? You became such a devil after Canelo, so maybe you won in the ring, but in their life you lose, you lost. Ekaterina Bivol also accused Dmitri of stealing and cheating during their relationship, but expressed that she holds no lingering resentment towards him. Instead, she claimed that the ordeal made her stronger, transforming her into a fighter. In one of her captions, she wrote, After all of the stealing and cheating, you probably think I hold resentment, but no, it made me stronger, made me wiser, so thanks for making me a fighter. The situation between Dmitri and Ekaterina took an ugly turn after she posted a series of photos on Instagram, accusing the boxer of both psychological and physical abuse. She claimed that Bivol and his mother had manipulated the situation, even telling her father that she had inflicted harm on herself. Ekaterina Bivol also disclosed that she is pursuing justice in court for the events that transpired during their marriage. She said, No, I don't want back. I want justice. You always told me there is no justice in the world, but you're wrong. I will fight for fair judgment in court. However, Ekaterina did not provide details about the specific legal action or court case she would be filing against the Russian boxer. She revealed that despite not seeing each other for long periods, she found strength in her independence. I'm not sad without Dima. What should I get used to? I have always been alone for at least six months. And over the past year, we have not seen each other for 10 months. I am very used to loneliness. I feel sad at times, but I thought it would be worse. Turns out I'm much stronger than I thought. Surprised by myself. Dmitry Bivol has continued to stay silent regarding the growing list of allegations, even as they continue to pile up against him. Anyhow, despite the gravity of the claims imposed by Bivol, all, it's crucial to note that the allegations of domestic abuse remain unverified in court. However, with the seriousness of these accusations, many believe it's essential for Bivol to address them publicly and clear the air. The timing of these accusations is especially critical, as Bivol is currently focused on preparing for what could be the biggest fight of his career, his undisputed light heavyweight showdown with Artur Beterbiev on October 12th. One fight might take Bivol to the court, but another will take him to the ring that too against the hardest hitting guy on the planet. Lonnie B., a professional boxer, once mentioned that Artur Beterbiev is the hardest hitter he has ever faced, even from birth. Lonnie B. made this statement after having sparred with Beterbiev, highlighting just how powerful and dangerous Beterbiev is in the ring. Is he the hardest hitting guy you ever sparred the ring with? Lonnie B even went as far as saying that if he were offered a fight with Beterbiev, he would refuse, despite being willing to fight anyone else. This comment underscores just how intimidating and dangerous Beterbiev is, even to fellow professional fighters. If you had to fight him in a fight, how would you beat him? Like, close the, close the distance so you can't let him, or, or do you box him? I wouldn't fight him. No, but if you, they offered you to fight. I would say no. 
Wow. But you would fight anyone else. Looney B shared his excitement for an upcoming fight, making it clear who he's supporting. He predicted that Arter Beterbiev would finish the fight in seven or eight rounds, highlighting Beterbiev's past performance against Callum Smith, a much bigger fighter, whom Beterbiev knocked out in seven rounds. He stated, I'm excited for the fight, it's going to be on. Y'all know who I'm rocking with. I think Beterbiev, I don't think it'll go past seven or eight. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Someone like Callum Smith, who's extremely big, who possibly can fight at cruiserweight, Beterbiev got him out of there in seven. Looney B elaborated on his thoughts about Artur Beterbiev, commenting on his ability to fight at various weight classes, including super middleweight, where Looney himself competes. He praised Beterbiev's ability to cut off the ring and break down his opponents by attacking key areas like the shoulders and hips. He added, Beterbiev really can fight at super middleweight my size. I don't think he moves that well for more rounds than that, and Arthur cuts the ring off extremely well. And just the beating on them, the shoulders, the hips, Bivol is going to get stopped fairly fast. As this fight is approaching, it is stacking up the Antisiac Action as well, Greg Hackett called this fight as one of the best matchups of the year. He praised both fighters as monsters and predicted that Beterbiev would come out on top. However, Hackett also believed that Bivol would put Beterbiev through a tough and challenging fight before he secures the win. This is one of the best fights we're gonna get this year. Um, two, two, two monsters. I think better be able to win, right? But I think Bivol will put him through hell before they... Before Greg Hackett gave an in-depth analysis of how the fight between Dmitry Bivol and Artur Beterbiev could unfold. He started by acknowledging that both fighters would face immense challenges, with Bivol likely looking strong in the early rounds. Hackett believed that Bivol's boxing skills would shine in the beginning, even suggesting he could win the first six rounds. He said, It's going to take a lot out of Beterbiev, and it's going to take a lot out of Bivol. Bivol's going to look like a hell of a boxer in the beginning. He might go up six rounds, but Beterbiev will be able to catch up to him. Hackett then discussed how the mindset of each fighter would play a crucial role in determining the outcome. He praised Bivol for being tough and willing to fight back, showing that he wouldn't be easily overrun by Beterbiev's aggression. However, Hackett believed that Beterbiev's fierce mentality and refusal to give in would be the deciding factor that leads him to victory in the end. He added, Beterbiev is super vicious and Bivol is a man of respect, but Beterbiev's mindset is what's going to win him the fight. Greg Hackett continued to offer his strategic insights on how Dmitry Bivol could secure a victory over Artur Beterbiev. He stressed the importance of Bivol pacing himself throughout the fight and not allowing Beterbiev to force him into survival mode. Hackett emphasized that Bivol would need to stay composed, set up his punches carefully, and plan his exits after exchanges to avoid being caught off guard by Beterbiev's relentless pressure. To get the W, he got to pace himself well. He can't he can't let better be better be a push him to the point where he throwing to survive. He gotta set up his punches and set up his, his exit. If he don't do that, then he's gonna be in trouble after he throws punches, or maybe even before. Or in between times. So he gotta set up good shit, break him down, and, 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 and pick his spots. And then the last four rounds. He got to win convincingly. Brandon Glanton shared his thoughts on the potential fight between Dmitry Bivol and Artur Beterbiev, backing Bivol to win. He praised Bivol for his mastery of distance and timing, suggesting that Beterbiev wouldn't be able to get close enough to inflict his usual damage. Glanton believed that even though Beterbiev might land a few shots, Bivol's ability to maintain range and avoid getting hit would give him the upper hand. No, I think Bivol beats him. Yeah, I think, and, and again, two very, very good fighters, but... In my head, Bivol is a master of distance and timing. I just don't think Perturbia will be allowed to get that close to him. Maybe a few times, but I think after Bivol, after Bivol feels that first, that first cracking shot, Brandon Glanton continued to describe the incredible power of Artur Beterbiev, recounting a personal experience from sparring with him. He emphasized just how strong Beterbiev's punches are, sharing that a single hit to his hip left him feeling the impact in his foot for an entire week. He added, He hit me in my hip so hard I felt it in my foot for a week, you understand? The guy is an incredibly strong puncher. It's different. It's like nothing I had ever felt before. One other pro is keeping Bivol for the win. Jamie Moore praised Bivol's technical skills, particularly his footwork and ability to judge distance, which he felt would give Bivol the upper hand. Moore expressed confidence in Bivol's ability to control the fight with his ring generalship, believing that these qualities would likely lead him to victory on points. A really, really good and it's such a tough fight to pick. Um, my gut feeling is saying 
that Bivol's skills and, and ring generalship, his feet are so good, his judgment at distance will get him the victory. Moore also discussed Better BF's strengths, particularly his ability to close the distance and get into punching range. He highlighted how Better BF's subtle ring movements allow him to impose his style on opponents. While Moore leaned towards Bivol winning, he acknowledged that Better BF's pressure and power could still shift the fight in his favor, making the outcome unpredictable. Peterbiev is so good at cutting the ring down and getting, getting close. He gets subtly close and it's a punching range and he sort of, he, he tends to be able to impose his style on you. So that's the big thing for me is, is he going to be able to do that to Bivol? So my gut feeling tells me Bivol wins on points, but I wouldn't be surprised either way. Alos Joe Smith Jr. reflected on his experiences in the ring, particularly highlighting Dimitri Bivol's formidable abilities. Smith acknowledged Bivol as one of his toughest opponents, praising his well-rounded fighting style. Smith said, In my opinion, I felt Bivol was the tougher fight for me. He's an all-around fighter, but both fighters are very skilled. Better Biev, he's very accurate with his punches. He hits you where he wants to, but you know, I would be looking forward to seeing the two of them fight. He continued by discussing the potential matchup between Bivol and Better Biev, admiring both fighters' talents. Smith recognized the unpredictable nature of such a high-level clash, emphasizing Better Biev's power and accuracy accuracy and Bivol's overall skill. He added, it's a tough fight, anything could happen. Better Biev's got that punch and skill, the accuracy, but Bivol, he's an all-around fighter, so I'd like to see it. As the tension builds for Bivol's next fight with outside personal drama involving his ex-wife and his relentless pursuit to remain undefeated, could this emotional turmoil be the factor that gives Better Biev the edge? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on all coming showdowns in boxing.